And the Peloton are underway then in this World Championship, rolling out of the University of Richmond. And everyone cheering them on. Uh, I've been out, uh, I had breakfast about 7 o'clock and already at 7.15 the streets were lined here in Richmond. I think this is going to be a pretty special day in the history of Richmond, Virginia. Well, the car's now pulling away, the motorbikes are pulling away. And as we look down on this peloton, this World Championship road race is now about to be underway. And the flag is going to be dropped. In fact, there we go. This race is on. Now the attack. And the attack comes from Great Britain. This is Ian Stannard. Stannard, the winner of it, Omelet Pet Noiseblad on two occasions. He decides to go it alone. Robert Hessink is trying to go win him. Stannard has outwitted Etex Quickstep on a number of occasions. Boonen recognises that this is a big moment in this race. Look how quick they are going downhill from the helicopter. 34 kilometres to go. Stannard goes whacking through that corner. Tom Bonin is there as well for the Belgian squad. Everyone is sensing that this is a big, big move. Stannard has pulled away a group of riders. Tom Boonen is looking around to see what the makeup of the group is. Just taking a look here to see what has happened. No, here comes the attack. And it's one of the Dutch riders who is making a big, big move, having Stannard been the rider to uh, go away. A massive attack at the front of this uh, race now. And the Dutch are starting to... Uh, Balko Molema has now gone. So Malema has used it as a springboard. Balka Malema has gone on the attack for all the Dutch squad. He's right on form right now. He is trying to prize this breakaway off the front of the race. Next time round, we have uh, two laps to go as we make our way up. Uh, Governors, one of the Spanish riders, is uh, just behind him. Kwiatkowski has made it. And Viviani is also here. The makeup of the group then. On the front, Balcom Molema, uh, Kwiatkowski, Tom Bonin, Moreno, Stannard, Viviani, and on the back of the group looks to me like Andre Amador of uh, Costa Rica. These riders are going clear, they really need to work together now. We're just hearing a few riders racing across, let's see. I think we've got 13 riders now in this leading group. And I'm just taking a look to see who has uh, made it. John Degenkolb, I think, has made the front group. That's going to mean the Germans will no longer chase. Kwiatkowski, Amador, Viviani, Stannard, Moreno, Bonin. Uh, Degenkolb is now in there for Germany. Van Avermaet, Marco Haller, desperately trying to get himself across to make it 14 uh, riders in the leading group. Let's take a look at the front of this race, though. It's all coming back together. At the front of the race then, De Moulin has made it. Uh, Rui Costa just jumping across, Degen Kolb is there. This is a move at the front, and it's Tyler Farrar who is on the move now. I'm pretty sure Tyler Farrar and Sweets off. Look at the blue of the Italians all on the front of this peloton. Now the Belgians also arrive. This uh, race is going to come back together as we turn onto Libby Hill. The peloton is all together. Who is going to win this world title? There is a lot of riders in with a shout of winning this. We are nearly at the end of this race, the end of a week of incredible racing here in Richmond. We hit 23rd Street now. One rider going on the attack. And it looks to me like one rider trying to make a move. This is Greg Van Avermaet. Van Avermaet, tracked by Peter Sagan. Sagan now goes on the attack. 
Peter Sagan trying to make his move. Van Avermaet is with him. Boson Hagen is still there. Degenkolb behind Degenkolb is Nasser Buani. Stibar showing his teeth as they sprint uphill over the top of the climb. And Sagan has a little bit of a gap. He looks around. Van Avermaet. Peter Sagan gives this full throttle now. He goes into the aero tuck. Look at this. Downhill. And he's in there. Frankie Andreo, as he said, the super tuck. He looks around now. He's trying to go away. Sagan is on his own. Can he win the world title? Sagan, uh, look at the gap he's got as he goes into shock or bottom. Sagan leans the bike over. Right on the limit right now. Peter Sagan has gone through that corner like he was absolutely on the limit. Behind him is a Greg Van Avermaet and Edvold Bosenhagen. Sagan takes one little look around. He's so cool. He just leans with the forearms as he now goes round the right-hander. Peter Sagan, he's going now to try and win this world title. He hits 42 kilometers an hour. What a bike handler this man is. He's taking seconds out of these riders. Peter Sagan hugging the right-hand side of the road. What an absolutely incredible attack by Peter Sagan. We haven't heard him all race. A little uphill section now. He's looking for the gears. Sagan looking down. Is it going to engage? Bosenhagen is trying to wait and wait, but Sagan has the advantage. This looks like it could be the world title for Peter Sagan. He would be the most popular world champion I have ever seen in the last few years. Uh, Bosenhagen now tries to jump across to Sagan. Behind Sagan and the Spanish team are trying to salvage something. Sagan turns on to Governor Street. He's now going to set himself up for the most important climb of his life. Peter Sagan with one kilometer to go. He's out of the saddle. He hugs the left-hand side of the road. Peter Sagan now still lifting the tempo a little bit more. This is his race to lose right now. Sagan looking absolutely superb. The green jersey of the Tour de France. He timed his move to absolute perfection. Behind him, the Spanish team are coming. Has Sagan got enough left? He looks around one more time. Greg Van Avermaet is tying up. The move of Rigoberto Uran, Sagan, he's always got a little bit of oil, he puts it in a huge gear, Peter Sagan puts it in the biggest gear on his bike, he's going to turn the left hand corner, look at the shoulders, look at the gritted teeth, is he going to win this world title, Sagan has got 600 metres to go, he can see the gantry, now he's got a time trial on his way to the finish line, Rigoberto Uran has just come round the corner, Peter Sagan, Daniel Uran now Peter, this world championship is a just there for the taking. Rigoberto Arad is hunting him down for Colombia. Sagan, he doesn't want to look round right now. He's going to have to give this some green jersey power. Sagan, six hours, 14 minutes and eight seconds of racing. Is he going to win the world title? This finishing straight is so long. Has he got enough in the tank to go for the victory? 200 metres to go. Peter Sagan out of the saddle. There's absolutely nothing left in that body. The lactic acid is burning. The eyes are filled with pain. Peter Sagan sets himself up now with 50 metres to go to the finish line. What a win. Peter Sagan is the world champion after six and a quarter hours of racing. What an absolutely amazing win. Peter Sagan is the world champion. Whoa. Here he goes, right on his wheel was Van Avermaet, but look at the power of Sagan, but he won it on the corners, on the descent. So often this year he's been criticised for finishing second, and he laughed when he said, yeah, but look, it doesn't matter, I like to race my bike, and I've won bike races so far, but the biggest bike race he could win this year is the World Championship. Suddenly the pain turned to smiles. He shakes his head and he then takes the crowd's applause. What a win by Sagan. Today I was just waiting, waiting, and uh, yeah, I had my brother with me and uh, Uri and uh, my, uh, my friends Michael Collor, my teammates, and uh, they was always with me. And uh, if something happened, uh, they, they was ready to change the bike or something. I did just one attack and uh, it was, uh, I think, the right attack.
Peter Sagan is the world champion.